When you're a young person, you're kind of like shopping for your personality. You try this outfit at school, it doesn't work, and you're like, okay, I'm not that guy, maybe I'm this guy. And that's like what it is to become an adult. Those realities are totally at tension with each other when you're young, because on one hand you want to, not necessarily with partying or something, but you want to find yourself, and on the other hand you have to find that cycle to ground you almost. And there's peer pressure, and it is a really disillusioning, crazy world out there, and... And you're young. I lost 18 pounds. It was supposed to be 15. Mom was worried. Mom was worried. Like, we're from the movie where I was having sex with the peach, and then it was like, I got another movie, and she's like, great! And I was like, oh. And I had to tell her what it was about. The movie's called Beautiful Boy. The movie's based on two books, Beautiful Boy and Tweak. Um, one's by David Sheff, who's the father in the story, and the other's by Nick Sheff, who's the son, uh, who's addicted to methamphetamine. I auditioned many, many, many times. I auditioned for the first time in, uh, not December of last year, but December of the year before that. That last callback with Steve Carell, he's just like the greatest guy in the world, right? The first time I met Steve was at um, a chemistry read, and I'm like a big, I shouldn't even say a big Office fan. I'm like the typical Office fan, which is like a big Office fan, <laughs> and I just had to temper that, because I didn't want to weird him out. Like, you ever, you ever get it wrong when you meet a famous person you really like? If you didn't get it because the work sucked, that's fine. But if you didn't get it because you said something weird or you were like, hey, Steve, I'm such a fan, and like leaving the room, he was like, I don't know, that kid. Like, so now I can be like honest about it and be like a total weirdo. And he and Amy Ryan, who is also in the office, they're uh -huh. Michael and Holly, and they're my parents. <laughs> Beautiful Boys, a script they'd been trying to get made for 10 years. Every a guy actor my age had gone in for it and that holds a special place in my heart because I've been lucky but like a lot of the bigger like Spider-Man things like that I didn't get. That was the moment where I was like, oh wow, that's something I went in for like six times. <laughs> Nobody ever said I was nuts. You said you use the word scary so I don't want to, you know, indicate a, a positive overture out of that but that's kind of how I feel and it's been really interesting the more we talk about the movie, the more we do Q&As the more I'm kind of aware of its tonality and what it is to the world. And I realize, oh man, we made an anti-glorification of drugs. The learning grace of this movie for me was addiction doesn't have a face. It has no preferred class or gender or race. I think it's almost easier to be like, oh, well, that doesn't affect me or my family or my friends. When the reality is, it's everywhere. Nick came to set. We were shooting at UCLA. It's a second rehab sequence in the movie. And I think it was surreal for him. And certainly it would be odd. How weird would it be to have someone play you? I was in England, and I got an email that he was going to see it on a Friday or something. Uh -huh. So that Friday passed. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> and then on like a Sunday or something, I heard he was going to see it again on Tuesday. So I thought, OK, <laughs> that could be good or bad. And then I didn't hear anything. And then I heard on Wednesday he set up another screening for like that following Saturday. <laughs> and I was like, OK, I don't think he hates it, because <laughs> that would be masochistic to keep seeing it. <laughs> it was a text that was like, hey, saw the movie, and and then I gave him a ring after that, and I, I don't know, it's like one of these moments you're like, oh, wow, this is um, why you do it. You can accept if people don't like your stuff, that's fair, but if he didn't like the movie, that would have been such a travesty because it's beyond it being about addiction or drugs, it's his, it's his life, it's his right, story, it's his right. family's life. And I gotta tell you, like in talking to him, to have somebody like confirm back to you on the phone, like, hey, we, you know, we trusted you with this story and this process, and uh, thank you, because we appreciate it. Pick up that thing. Thanks, Lynn. Oh, find oh. out your fortune. When you see something beautiful in someone, tell them. It could stay with them for a lifetime. Oh, Lynn, you are just so, so, so beautiful. <laughs>